Hey everyone, wanted to jump on and answer a question that's, that came out of our community, specifically our zero DTE or zero days of expiration community, where we're commonly trading iron condors. So the question is, what are inverted strikes? And this question is probably coming out of uh, the recent environment with very low volatility. Um, so to illustrate this point, I actually turned the clock back to mid-December of 2023 in a very low uh, volatility environment. It's actually the low of the year at that point. So in trading these strategies, the zero DTE iron condor strategies, a lot of the strategies were targeting a certain, uh, collecting a certain premium on each the put in the call side to sell an iron condor. At $4 is pretty common for a lot of people. So if I were to be trading, this is first thing in the morning here, um, that December 12th date, if I would be targeting closest to $4 each side on the, the short side and then pick up a five cent long on each the the call and the put side, let's see, we are 35 wide on the wings to collect a $7.40 credit. Um, so this is first thing in the morning. Let's take a look at this in the analyze tab. I'm just going to save that there for a second, jump back into the trade tab. So in these low volatility environments, um, I'm going to jump to uh, 2 p.m. Central that same day. Um, and you'll see what can happen here that could get us into where if we're targeting um, $4 on each side, you're going to see inverted strikes. So we had a, a wing width of about 30 to 40, I believe, in the morning iron condor. So if we're targeting $4 on each side for a PM iron condor at around 2 p.m., which we call a power hour iron condor, We'd be looking to have a straddle or a strangle of, you know, 5, 10, 15 wide. But in this situation, if we're targeting $4 on each side, we're seeing inverted in the money strikes on the call and the put side. Um, so, you know, you can see you're collecting uh, close to the same amount of premium, but the issue with buying these inverted wings is you're actually not going to be seeing these uh, contracts go down to to nothing or close to nothing to sell them back or to buy them back at the end of the day. And that's because you're buying, uh, you're selling two wings there on the short side that are both in the money. So this is the first one here um, that we talked about. Selling an iron condor first first thing in the morning. So right now we're looking at the risk profile graph of that first iron condor where we had a 30 wide uh, set of wings. So here's your break even. You have a lot more leeway on where SPX in the situation can land and you still breaking even and you making a profit. Um, you see max profit here is the credit collected uh, 745 and max loss is nine grand on one side, six grand on the other. So we're going to look at that uh, iron condor with overlapping strike or um, inverted strikes, and you're going to see how this is really unfavorable. I mean, your max. I'm going to do the break even here, so it looks a bit better. But um, this is this is not correct. Uh, the 100 percent here. Uh, you can see, you know, like we talked about, um, this iron condor is not going to um, decay down to, you know, zero dollars. The most you can make on this is 210, and you don't have a lot of leeway um, on the strikes that it can hit. You have less, um, you know, you have less to lose, but you also have less to gain. So I hope that makes sense, um, you know, why. The inverted strikes on iron condors are less favorable than, say, you know, wider strike prices on selling iron condors or going short. But please let us know if you have any more questions and we can dig in further.